Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between TY and Zest on Proxima Station, the latter edition. In the bottom left side of the map, we have the Red Terran player. It is TY! Known as one of the most amazing Terran players on planet Earth, and in the top right side of the map, we have the blue Protoss player, a fan of many Protoss, Zest. Ah, a PBT. Also from IEM Katowice 2016, the World Championships. And let's get right on into it. Man, I gotta amp up for these. There's a lot of action, a lot of stuff going on. Don't want to miss a second of it or miss any drops because that gets you guys fairly upset, at least a couple of you. <laughs> Let's get right on into it here. Rex first out of TY, Gateway first out of Zest. Really nothing too weird about this one. Nobody's going like proxy cannons or command center planetary fortress rushing on TY's side of things. Definitely not, but a probe scout. A probe scout from Zest. Now, Protoss players have been feeling a little bit underpowered when compared to the Terrans, especially in the current build of Legacy of the Void. Actually, I apologize. This is not the current build of Legacy of the Void. They finished Katowice 2016 and then patched it. Like, the next day, StarCraft 2 was patched, some balance updates. There are a couple updates here. Um, Hydralisk HP was increased, Reaper cooldown on the grenade, or the KD-8 charge was increased. I mean, nothing too major. I don't see this really majorly shifting the meta of StarCraft 2 all that much, although it could. It darn well, very well could. It is actually a Reaper coming out from TY. This Reaper's name is going to be Jack Frost. He is back, and he's taking all of you with him. The Insurrection Jack Frost is not the one you are thinking of. Oh no, Insurrection Jack Frost, not the one you are thinking of. Okay, so this is Insurrection Jack Frost. I don't know what this is referring to. I have no idea what Insurrection Jack Frost is. You know what we're going to do? We're going to pull up voice search on my phone right now and see what it says. Ready? Insurrection Jack Frost. What you got for me, Google? Jack Frost. Ah, okay. Okay. Dang, it's a, it's a Star Trek. Star, Star Trek. Starcraft Insurrection thing. Jack Frost. Fair enough. Fair enough, indeed. Is this... I need to look into this thing. I don't know what this is off the top of my head. Regardless! Regardless, the Reaper is just patrolling back and forth, just defending against early Adept harassment from Zest. There is a proxy factory! <gasps> TY is proxy factoring just outside of this back door of Zest's natural base. Again, there are debris here, so Zest isn't really worried about things coming up this way, but... <laughs> TY! TY is moving the factory into the natural base of Zest. Is Zest going to see this? Zest does not see this. He does not see this. Mothership core for Zest is coming in, though, from some harassment all by her lonesome. There are two Marines out. They can't handle a Mothership core by themselves. That's why they're moving out. Now, there are four. Six, five or six is what you want. But look at this. It's a Widowmine drop by TY without having to do the drop part of it. Doesn't need a Starport. Doesn't need Medivacs. This is completely hidden. Oh, he saw it. He caught a... Just a tiny glimpse of it with something, and I know when Adept is here for Zest to try to take this Widow Mine down before it burrs itself in the mineral line of Zest here. Uh, Mothership Core again trying to murder some things. Has no kills as TY is a little bit too good to let that happen. And by that I mean... <laughs> he did let it happen. Uh, Reaper sneaking around here. Jack Frost trying to kill some stuff in the natural. Not really going well for him. Doesn't have any kills whatsoever. Kitty 8 charge tossed down. Wee! Giving the probes a nice little ride for their lives. Oracle pops out. Gonna use Pulsar Beam on the Reaper is the question. Pretty much unnecessary, but... Yeah, there we go. Reaper's dead. Widowmine taken care of as well. Oh, toss down Revelation did the Oracle. Okay, so Revelation thrown down on the Widowmine and destroying it. Another Widowmine here for TY, but we're rolled very closely to the factory, unfortunately, for TY. Not really likely to hit any probes from there, as it turns out. So what have we lost? A Widowmine, A Reaper, and A Marine. For TY, and Zest has lost a single probe. One probe sacrificed itself for everybody else, allowing the Widowmine to explode on it. Therefore, all of his friends could live. Third Nexus on the way from Zest. Feeling very confident here that TY's early aggression not having much success means that Zest can go for a third base here at four and a half minutes. I don't know if I agree with that sentiment, but TY does seem a little bit behind right now. It is 35 to 39 harvesters. There are more probes, definitely. But here's a drop from TY. Marine drop with Medivax getting inside this mineral line. There are a couple adepts. There is a Phoenix and an Oracle, though. I like this combination from Zest. And yes, chasing everybody away. TY does not like those odds, but killing four probes and evening that worker count 
at 37 apiece. Widow Mine firing, killing. Is that an adept that died? That was an adept. An adept that died. Widow Mine back here as well, getting three kills. And burrowing again. Burrowing again, but. Oh. Wait, it did die. What did. Was there a revelation on that that I didn't see? I don't know. Marines here again trying to do more damage in the main base, but getting shooed away by four adepts. Wow, four adepts versus six marines. Yeah, I think the adepts are going to win that one for sure. There are still widow mines coming in. Widow mine firing, hitting a phoenix, not quite killing it. Another one picked up and murdered by this phoenix oracle group. And TY is just. He is not giving up, man. He's not like, you know what? I've lost a, um, a lot. Three Widow Lines so far. So what? He says, I'm coming into this mineral line of Zest Natural and killing it. Trying to drop at the main base to distract everybody from the stuff happening in the natural. Where'd you go, Widow Mine? There he is. And whack! Six kills! Six kills on TY. Or four TY uh, on that Widow Mine. Gee, well, there's another probe dying to this Widow Mine <laughs> action. Oracle does have enough for revelation does reveal both of the widow mines nicely planted those are not close together by any means and ty decides the experiment is over i'm gonna try to move this factory down to the lower ground where the phoenix can't hurt it or the adepts there we go safe safe factory but still it's three bases to two bases 47 to 45 harvesters ty has a lead because he's not the one who's been losing SEVs this whole game that's 12 dead probes in the first six minutes that is not good that is not a good thing when you're playing against somebody as good as Zest. TY going very marine heavy right now. He has 22 marines, a viking, and a medevac. Trying to set up defenses to take his third base. And here comes a giant adept squad from Zest. Does he have resonating glaives? Nobody's working on it. He's working on resonating glaives as well as plus one ground attack. Phoenix Oracle group trying to see what is up. Just bouncing around from place to place trying to see if there's anywhere that is safe for the adepts to come in. And this front area for staging seems pretty safe, he says. Factory flying around again. Factory trying to fly around again for TY. Cause more problems for the Protoss player. Phoenix flying in, killing a couple Marines inside the main base while the adepts try to go in the front door. But guess what? Liberators are here. Liberators are here for TY. Two of them adepts trying to decide if they care or not. And they do as they back right the heck out. Factory scouting the third base. <laughs> TY using his factory to great effect for scouting and murdering things thus far. I like it. I like it a lot. TY landing his third orbital command. Perfectly placed, as it always is. As it always is at these high levels of StarCraft 2. And Phoenix and Oracle trying to sneak on in to see what they can see here at this natural base. It's two Liberators and a ton of Marines is basically what we're dealing with. So what do you want? What do we want to deal with this? If you are Zest, I don't know. Throwing down Revelation seems like a pretty good idea. Stargate on the way from Zest getting plus one ground attack. As I, or actually, air attack. That's new. Concussive Shell and Combat Shield being researched for TY at the same time. Resources lost about 800, 900 for the Terran player and 850 for Zest on the nose. Really wants to kill this factory, but every time the Phoenix show up to kill it, TY just lands it. And the Phoenix are like, well, we can't shoot down. That would be insane, so they don't. They don't bother. Adept, there we go. Adept Phoenix combination, and finally the factory that has been a thorn in Zest's side for so long is destroyed in a flash, an explosion of fire. More gateways on the way from Zest. Taking a fourth base, he has no fear, man. No fear of TY. Sure, TY has punched him. He's bleeding a little bit from the mouth, but he's taken a fourth base before the Terran player is even really thinking about taking his fourth. No, he's thinking about it. He has a command center on the way. He's thinking about it. I misrepresented TY. I apologize. Please don't send me hate mail, fans of TY. Marine blorp, getting exploded. Poor Marine was just scouting, man. He was just an explorer. That's all he was. You murdered him. Revelation thrown down on the Terran army. I saw a post complaining about Revelation on the StarCraft 2 subreddit the other day. It just, people complain that it lasts too long and that they can't get rid of it, right? Other forms of scouting, you can kill the Overseer, the Overlord, you can kill the Changeling, you can kill the Observer. It's just, it's a scan that lasts forever. You can't move your army out until they're gone because the Protoss army will know exactly where you are and it's easy to deal with at that point, especially as Terran. I mean, uh, most of your advantage comes from the element of surprise in most situations. So these guys cannot perform any surprise and they're basically dead units. They can defend, but that's it until that wears off. And if you have a couple oracles, you can keep up some cycling, uh, cycling revelations pretty much forever. Here. I love the big revelation icon here on big, big things like this command center. It's just pretty. Looks like a snowflake, kind of. Kind of snowflake-ish. Is Zest taking a fifth base? He's thinking about taking a fifth base to the left of his main. 
which would be hard to defend, but he feels like he's really ahead here. Is just, yep, this is just the Phoenix Adept play, which we saw, which we saw. Who was that? Showtime? Showtime used it against Innovation in a PVT previously on the channel. It was, uh, yeah, it was Phoenix Adept. I'm not going to spoil it for you. If you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. It's Showtime and Innovation. Come on. Come on. What more do you want from StarCraft 2 than Innovation versus Showtime? Honestly. Honestly, I ask you. But yeah, I mean, this is it. This is all Zest has. He has a ton of Phoenix. He has exactly 15 Phoenix, 17 Phoenix now, and 40 Adepts with Resonating Glaives, soon to have plus 2 attack, as well as plus 1 air armor, uh, plus 1 air attack is already done. The problem is, I know I say this a lot in this particular matchup, and with this strategy from the Protoss, he's kind of on a timer. Kind of on a timer. Eventually, the Terran army will be fully maxed out, have a bunch of Marauders in there. The Marines are going to eat the Phoenix for lunch. The Adepts will not do as well as they did in the early game. And then suddenly Protoss is kind of up a creek without a paddle. So we'll see if Zesk can get some damage done here in time. In the window wherein it is the most effective. Adepts getting right in here. This attempt at a fourth base from TY at the gold. But no! Army is here! Marines and Marauders pouring lead directly into these Adepts. Phoenix coming in trying to assist as well. Trying to Sonic Transfer and canceling the Sonic Transfer in the Adepts are forced to retreat. TY's got plus two attack and plus one armor. He's using concussive shell to pick off individual adepts here, not allow them home. Sonic transfer enough to force TY to back up just a little bit. Good use of that ability from Zest, non-traditional use. At least at the lower levels, at the higher levels, it actually makes a lot of sense. Trying to kill a medevac there was Zest and his Phoenix couldn't quite do it. Medevac has 10 hit points, but it still lives. It still lives a ton of Phoenix now, or not Phoenix, Vikings, eight Vikings. For TY, Adepts trying to sneak into this 4th base. He really, really wants to kill this 4th, but cancels. Cancels the Psionic Transfer. So Zest does have 4 bases. It is 4 base to 4 base, but TY, one of his, is gold. Income 68 to 73 Harvester. Zest has the lead, and it's actually about even for mineral income and gas income right now. About 3,900 each per minute. So, I mean, we are super macro stage of this game. It's Legacy of the Void. Things happen fast. Things build fast as well. Liberator for TY trying to sneak up along the top side of this map, but guess what? There are scouting pylons here, and they saw exactly what you're doing, and the Phoenix are coming up and trying to murder you in the face. Adepts are kind of on their own right now, but trying to expand again for a fifth base. He's already expanded to a fifth base in the bottom right. Now he's taking a sixth base here as well, but nope. Liberator's checking this thing out, seeing what is up. Liberator does manage to set up shop in Zest Natural. The Phoenix did not find it in time, and... One kill. One kill on the Liberator. Big time uh, canceling. What the what? TY trying to build bunkers in the, or barracks in the middle of nowhere? I don't know what that exactly was. But here we go. Adepts versus Marines and Marauders. Are there any Liberators here? No, but it doesn't really matter. The Adepts trying to hold their own, but these guys just pouring in the damage. Plus two, plus two on these units. So many dead probes. Another Liberator here at the third base. Going to town on them at the same time. Trying to expand everywhere. Is this. He has three. He's got two. Two. Nexus is in construction right now, under construction, warping in. It is 191 and 125 total supplies. Zest is just, I don't think he can do it. I don't think he can stand up to the combined might of Marine, Marauder, Medivac with just Adepts. I mean, maybe pre-Adept nerf when they two-shot Marines, but not now. Not now, especially with these guys with plus three attack complete. Ghosts on the way for TY. He has a 40 supply lead on his Protoss opponent, and it's just looking bad. It is looking bad. For Zest. Adepts rolling in, canceling the transfer. A lot of missile turrets coming. Oh, were they missile turrets? TY was probably building missile turrets in the middle of nowhere just because the Phoenix are liking to roam around. And there are missile turrets in production and on the ground. It makes it hard for them to do that. Again, a lot of blue. A lot of blue bases out here. Adepts, there we go, right on top of these units. Phoenix trying to come in, but so many Vikings, and that's it. A good game out of Zest. Zest is defeated, and TY is victorious. Oosh. Usha, loosh, that was, I mean, it was basically a carbon copy of what we saw. <laughs> Again, spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear spoilers, perhaps you should end it now. But bottom line, Zess, just Adept Phoenix is good to a certain point. It's kind of like Roach Ravager against Terran. Roach Ravager is wonderful against Terran. And how about the 11, 12 minute mark when the upgrades really kick in for that Terran army? For those biological infantry units and then suddenly you find yourself in a whole heap of trouble if you don't have anything else zest again adept phoenix wonderful 
wonderfully effective in the early game to the mid game. But once you get past the 12, 13 minute mark, if you don't have anything else, you're going to lose. You're going to lose to the Terran bio, especially with medevac support. And again, plus three attack done from TY. So great job. Great job by TY weathering some early pressure there by the Protoss. But his proxy factory was wonderful. Killing a lot of probes there. And then that late game liberator push where he just set up at several bases and ended up, ended up killing 38 probes in the process. Doing that while holding a major attack from Zest in the middle. That's why these guys are the best in the business. The best at what they do. <sighs> All right. So that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what it's on, which I heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.